Hey guys, so we did not get a chance to finish our egg experiment. So um, we have these eggs that have already been soaked in um, vinegar and then they were soaked in sugar water. Um, but now we have various um, liquids that we're going to be soaking our eggs in to see what happens. Um, you will need to get out your worksheet out of your folder that looks like this. Um, you are going to record today, you're going to record the mass for Monday as we go, okay? So we're going to first measure these eggs, and then I'm going to fill each one to the 200 milliliter line on the beaker with the liquid. So we are going to do salt water, we're going to do Coke, we're going to do um, k rose syrup or corn syrup, and then um, lemon juice, okay? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take them out gently and weigh each one. So this is the one that's going to be in the salt water. It should be number one on your worksheet. So this one is weighing, it's about uh, 55 uh, grams. So all of these we're going to be measuring in grams. So it's about 55 grams. We're going to put this one back in the jar gently. Okay. This one is the one that's going to be in the Coke, so we're going to take it out. I'm going to weigh it. This one is right at 50 grams. Okay. The next one that we have, this is the one that's going to be in the corn syrup. Today, it is about about 51. It's just a little bit past the 50 gram mark. Okay. And then this one is the one that's going to be in the lemon juice. It's right at 50. They're all pretty close. And this last one, um, since we have five, this one's not on your sheet, but we are gonna just soak one in water just to see what happens. Okay. And then this one is right at about 50, 51 ish. So um, they all are kind of um, a little bit translucent at this point um, because the vinegar um, ate away the shell. So um, they're squishy. Um, so what you're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to first put all of these in the liquids and then you are going to form a hypothesis for the salt water, for the Coke, for the, uh, corn syrup and for the lemon juice. You do not have to form a hypothesis for the water. We're just going to see what happens with that. Um, we are going to check these again on Thursday. Remember, remember, remember your hypothesis must be measurable. So you can't use like it's going to get big. Okay. We need to know that it's going to increase or decrease a certain amount of grams. Okay. Be very specific. Okay. Also, you cannot put, I think, or I believe in your hypothesis. It needs to be an if, if, then statement. So if we do this, then this will happen. Okay. All right. So I'm going to pour, we're going to do um, a teaspoon of salt. As I'm doing this, if you want to go ahead and start writing your hypothesis for this, that would not be a bad idea. So we're going to put the salt over the egg. I'm just going to cover it. And then I'm going to pour this to the 200 milliliter line. I'm going to move this so you can see. Okay, then we have Coke. I'm going to pour this the 200 milliliter line as well. Your hypothesis can be, it can be about the color. It can be about what the texture is going to do. It can be about um, what's going to happen with the weight or the mass of it. So anything you want to include in your hypothesis, just make sure it is, um, it is measurable. Okay, I'm just going to pour the syrup all over the egg. We're going to check these back on Thursday. All right. Then we have 
have lemon juice. Around so you guys can see. Okay. And then the last thing is going to be just plain water. All right. So once you have formed your hypothesis for all of these, um, that will be four hypotheses. So um, send me a picture of them so I, I know what you're expecting to happen and we will check back on Thursday to see. Okay, bye.